Paula Grady once issued some advice to Meghan Markle to avoid riling up the Queen, an unearthed column shows. The English comedian and presenter is best known for his drag queen persona, Lily Savage. Paul starred as Lily in his own program for the BBC in the 90s before moving into other TV work, including presenting his own chat show on Channel 4. The presenter once imparted his humorous wisdom to Meghan Markle about how to get on with the Queen. Meghan married into the royal family in May 2018 as she tied the knot with the Queen's grandson, Prince Harry. In unearthed comments from June that year, Paul shared his advice to avoid riling up Her Majesty. He said, The Queen is easy to get on with. She likes a good laugh, someone who is straight talking, so be totally honest with her. Try to avoid too many Americanisms, always remember to say lavatory, not bathroom, otherwise you'll really rile her. Animal lover Paul also said Meghan would likely receive royal approval if she was able to share the Queen's passion for equestrianism. Referencing the monarch's love of horses, Paul added, Become a horsewoman if you can. That family loves horses and it's what the Queen likes talking about, land and animals. Paul also said that Harry and Meghan should enjoy one another's company, rather than listening to what other people think. He said, You don't need to do anything. You're a perfect couple and you've got a lovely marriage, just don't start letting outside influences affect you. Meghan and Harry stepped down from their royal roles last year, before it was confirmed this year that they would not return as working royals. The couple have both spoken out about the pressures of the media spotlight during their time in the royal family. Harry took the early, and unprecedented, step of releasing a strongly worded statement to the media during the early stages of his and Meghan's relationship in 2016. Just over a week after their relationship became public, he warned sections of the press to pause and reflect before any further damage is done in terms of the media frenzy surrounding Meghan. The prince said he was worried for her safety, saying that she had been targeted by outright sexism and racism. Meanwhile, the appearance on Ellen that Meghan did is still causing backlash, and it's only been a week. Originally, it was not going to address this as everyone else has covered the story from every angle possible. Though, Everyone wanted to go over how insanely out of touch it was for a woman with a royal title who trashed her in-laws on national television to be parading around like an idiot sucking on a baby bottle. Meghan is trying to rebrand herself as this down-to-earth woman who is a mother and wife. Didn't she already try the down-to-earth approach when she wore a messy bun on her wedding day? However, it seems that she doesn't appear to get the memo when it comes to the celebrity lifestyle she craves. Ellen has been exposed as a horrible human being to her staff where she treats them like peasants. This sounds familiar, doesn't it? Ellen should have been the last chat show host Meghan should have spoken to regarding her rebrand. Markle doesn't think before she acts and that's saying something seeing as she's not much of an actress. Anyway, she comes across as someone who doesn't like to be humiliated. The body language guy, Jesus Enrique Roses did a couple of videos detailing how uncomfortable the former actor was doing those stupid stunts. In the one linked here. The body language guy speaks about Megan's body language during the gaslighting segment.